Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at simulation and random number generation and stuff like that. As part of a simulation study, an actuary is designed, asked to design an algorithm for simulating claims for a particular type of insurance policy. The probability distribution of the annual number of claims on a policy is given as follows. So, what could happen here on any particular policy, there's a 40% chance of no claims, 40% chance of one claim, 0 0.4, and for the probability of two claims is 0 0.2. Now, obviously, there could be more than that, but we'll just sort of go for a very simple setup here. So, um, just as a quick remark, if we were to sort of come up with a way of generating uh, using the uniform distribution, what a particular probability, we sort of might use the cumulative totals there so starting from the left hand side 0 to 0 0.4 0 0.8 and then 1.00 okay so what would happen let's say if we uh, automatically generated a number let's say not 0 0.7932 that would be in this range of values here 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 and in that case, what we would be simulating is an outcome where there was one claim. So it's very sort of simple setup using the uniform distribution to characterize a discrete distribution like this. Okay, so just to sort of start that off there. Now, the claim size distributions of the first and second claims are different. Okay, now this is really is in particularly focused on this part here. Okay, so if there's two claims, what happens? Okay, and really what we're looking at this one. Okay, so the, f the size of the first claim follows an exponential distribution with mean 10, and the size of the second claim follows a Weibull distribution with parameters c equals 1 and k equal to 4. Okay, now what we're uh, considering this setup as is as follows. So if there's one claim of the first of any set of claims is going to be exponential, and if, this, if the second, if there is two, is Weibull, okay? So this one would be exponential on its own, okay? And this one would be the sum of an exponential, which is the first, and a Weibull, which is the second. So, construct an algorithm to simulate the first claim on any given policy, which is exponential, okay? Uh, construct an algorithm to simulate the second claim, on a given policy, which is Weibull, and construct an algorithm to simulate the total amount of claim, the total amount annual claims on a given policy. So it's essentially coming up with the sum, the total sum. So I, I've partly described part C already. Okay. Now, so essentially, what we need here is to sort of to what we're doing these simulations and co simulating exponential random variables using the uniform distribution and also Weibull, what we need is a cumulative distribution function here. Now, in this instance, this is the exponential one, okay? So this is the type of thing you should be probably used to if you're at this stage. Uh, what I have here also is just as a quick remark that the mean is one over lambda, okay? So this part here is the key part here. I'll just write it out again. I'm gonna use slightly different notation there just to make it a little bit easier to read. 1 min minus the exponential of minus lambda x. So it's the same, exact same thing for x greater than 0. Greater than or equal to 0. So it's the exact same way. It's just a little bit easier to read on the screen. Um, and 1 minus lambda is the mean. That is just a quick remark there. Let's go and see what I mean by that. The mean here is 10. Okay, that's the exponential. So the mean is 10. That means lambda is equal to 1 over 10. Just to sort of make a remark of that later on. Okay. Uh, now, the Weibull distribution. Now, there is quite a lot in this. So, this is the PDF, the prob probability density function. Okay. Using the standard uh, notation. And this is the corresponding cumulative distribution. Okay. And I have it written there in terms of lambda and k as well, okay? But the way we have things denoted is as follows. So we actually have terms, the 
our expression in terms of parameters c which is the inverse of lambda and then also k okay so this is the key thing we're going to be looking at here for this is for the y bill distribution i'll just write that one out again it's very similar in structure to the exponential um i'll use double brackets here okay double brackets so that's a c there okay and yeah uh, so c and k now just actually uh, that's what really what we need use that there so it's a very similar sort of structure to the exponential distribution for the for the cumulative distribution function so anyway part a this is when we look we're look, go looking for no this is the exponential this one exponential okay now this is the sort of set game plan that we follow we generate some number u okay and we let that equal to the the, the cumulative distribution function of x okay and in this case what we have here is one minus the exponential of minus x over 10 okay now what we're going to do here is just solve that so what we have here one minus u is the exponential of minus x oh i'm going out a shot there i'll just move into shot a little bit x over 10 okay get the logarithm of both sides now it's a little bit easier to read there and you know just uh, move the minus sign accordingly and then we end up here is x is equal to minus 10 times the log of 1 minus u so if you generate a number like u let's say 0 0.7932 you just substitute it in there 1 minus 0 0.7932 log of that multiplied by minus 10 okay and that will give you your exponential uh, realization from the exponential distribution okay so this is it here so generate a sample u from the uniform distribution 0 to 1 okay and then it performed this calculation here we just derived it there shortly so that's the, the algorithm step 1 step 2 okay that's grand so this is the y bull in this instance and really what we're doing here is something very similar to what we've just done before so we have one minus the exponential of minus x to the power of four sorry let's just backtrack a second here what was what were we told okay so c is equal to one okay and k is equal to four okay so we don't really see c if you get me so one minus cx to the power of k so we don't really see is one so we get x to the power of four minus x to the power of four okay one minus x the exponential of minus x to the power of four do a bit of calculation there or recalculate it and we should end up as log of one minus u is equal to minus x to the power of 4 so we get x is the fourth root of minus log times 1 minus u and then we just calculate it accordingly you could actually also state that as or stated in terms of the power of a quarter or something like that okay so generate a sample u from a the uniform distribution with a value uh, parameters 0 and 1 max and min 0 and 1 and then we get the fourth root just to be clear that's the fourth root of minus log times 1 minus u okay and so if you get some value u just perform this calculation to get the corresponding y bull realization what that realization for the y bull distribution now this last part here is calculate the total sum sorry come up with a way of simulating the total sum from uh, an any given year okay so for per for policy the total claim amount for any given policy okay so we might if we're generating on the basis of a thousand policies what we might do is run this algorithm a thousand times so as always we start off with the 
generating a sample from the uniform distribution. Okay, generating a uniform random variable. So if a, zero is between, uh, if u is between uh, zero and zero point uh, zero and zero point four, then the total claim amount is zero. Okay, and we stop. That's the no claims. Okay. So if zero, uh, sorry, if u, the random variable we can uh, from the uniform distribution, if our simulated value is between zero point four and zero point eight, then we simulate a claim from the exponential distribution. Uh, exponential with lambda is equal to 1 over 10 using the algorithm in part a the first one and set x equal to this value and then we stop okay so we only need to calculate one value there the exponential and then we stop so otherwise else go to step four which means u is greater than 0 0.8 okay this is the two claim scenario Okay. And simulate claims using the algorithms in A and B and then set equal x equal to the total of those two simulated claims. Now just as a remark, we to for this flow chart we have one uniform random variable, okay? Just to decide if it's zero claims one claim or two claims okay but then we would also use the uniform distribution in part a and part b so obviously you pick a different number there a different use a different uniform random variable okay so just be clear about that don't obviously just each time you need to use a uniform random variable of uh, a realization use a new one okay don't use the same one for each okay for example, in step four, you should be, you should have as well as this uniform random variable, which should be greater than 0 0.8. You need one for the y bill distribution and another one for the exponential distribution. Okay, u1 and u2. Okay, just to be clear about that. All right, we'll leave it there.